Hey everyone, so today's interview is super exciting. Back in May, I covered the 2016 CMAO Awards with Scarlet Lens Productions, and tonight I'm here with CMAO 2016 Rising Artist and Video of the Year nominee, Canadian country singer and songwriter, Shay Dupuy. Hi! Thank you so much for doing this interview with Thanks me. Thanks for having me. Well, congratulations on your latest single, Thank you. Good For Me. I know it hit uh, country airwaves on August 29th, and since September 9th, you've been able to digitally download the yes. single. Yes, yeah, it's been, um, it's been crazy. I, I'm really happy with the response. I was kind of worried about it because it's a little bit rocky right. and uh, has well, a bit more edge than what I've done. Well, I was going to say, it's said to push the boundaries. Yeah. So, so what has the response been it's, like? A lot of people have really liked it. Um, and it's not necessarily just because it's a little bit edgier. It's right. A lot of people have liked the topic of the song because they're like, wow, I can relate to having that guy that I know isn't good for me, but I still want him anyway. Right. So I'm, I'm really glad that it's kind of like one of those songs that everybody gets. And do you have a favorite spot or location where you just like to do all your writing? Um... Not necessarily, but I do have a preference. I don't like to write on a laptop. Really? A lot of people do that now, and I always have to bring a notebook with me. Because okay. I just find there's something so... just It's almost like creative and natural about putting pen to paper. Right. And I don't think I ever, I ever really great in a writing session unless I'm doing that. It seems more genuine to yeah. me. Yeah. It, it definitely does, and it's like the same thing with reading. Like, I find when people read on, like, the tablets, they're great mm -hmm. for saving space, but I just find there's something so timeless and awesome about, like, getting a fresh new book right. and, like, the pages and stuff. And I know you like reading, I and do. you can read a book in four hours. I can. It's a, it's my mom um, back in high school. She was like, I, like, I... I can't let you buy any more books. Like, you need to go get, like, a library card or something because you go through, like, five books a week, and that's ridiculous. How do you bring a song to life when you're performing? Do well, be, especially with performing, it's not necessarily about you. When mm -hmm. you're writing the song, it's about you, but when right. you perform, it becomes about the audience. They don't really come to your show to care how you feel. They came true. <laughs> to make themselves feel something. So... I've never thought of it like that. Yeah. That's, I like that. I learned that from, um, his name's Tom Jackson. He's a performance coach, and he spent two eight-hour days uh, with me and my band just going through half of my songs and stuff in my set. Wow. And just, like, tearing down the songs and building them back up and teaching me little tricks and stuff. He's worked with Taylor Swift and Bam Perry. He's, oh he's awesome, but you really look like he's made me gone back and look at Taylor Swift's performances when she's just a little 16 year old 15 year old girl with a guitar to how she is at her tours now yeah, yeah. and you can definitely see those tricks and for me going and watching that kind of thing like I, it's it clicks you, you yeah. get it like yeah she's not there to make herself feel better she's there to make to everyone make the in the audience, audience. yeah now, going back to your single, Good For Me, yes. um, it will be a track on your newest EP, Brave, which uh, is set to come out on October 28th. So what else can we expect from this record? It's, it's a little bit more grown up. Um, it, a lot of the new music was written within the last, um, last year or two, um, so it's definitely um, a newer period of my life than some of my other stuff. Um, and I think that really shows in the writing and in the music. And I think that's really cool about the EP too, because it's, it's kind of like my music's grown up with me. Your um, EP title really stuck with me and stood out to me. Where did you come up with calling it Brave? Um, I had a fellow and a songwriter, uh, it's like a, a critique and they just listen to your songs and they don't know who you are and they critique your song and okay. he listened to one of my songs and he said what stands out about her is she's very brave her songwriting is brave and for me uh, that stuck with me for a few mm -hmm. days because I was kind of like 
I've never really had anybody call me brave and it, it was a big compliment but it also kind of it was just like I need I think I need to take that on and I need to show people that I'm brave and especially with having that goal of doing something different and right. taking those risks you, you where you need to take risks you need to have courage and that was the whole thing about brave now I love the Wizard of Oz okay. so I know you know where I'm going <laughs> yes. with this um, so we have to talk about your another single of yours called Tin Man which is also on your EP Brave um First of all, I just want to say I love the song. Yay! I, I really so do. Happy. Do well. I'm sure a lot of other people do too. Well, it's 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 such a fun song like, yes, for for is. me to write. And when you actually like listen to the lyrics, that's a little bit like depressing because it's like don't fall for the guy I without know. the heart. But it's like a fun spin but it's so on it. Upbeat, yeah, and um, it's just going back to the lyrics like. They're so cleverly written. I was literally sitting last night watching your music video, listening to the lyrics, and it's unbelievable the amount of stuff that you were able to include, like clicking the heels, mm -hmm. yellow brick road, and you know, it's not only the Tin Man, but you include Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Lion, it's anybody who likes the Wizard of Oz, like will be drawn to this um, this song. But what made you want to continue with the whole Wizard of Oz theme throughout the whole song and also the music video? I, I didn't want it to have that kind of just the tin man, the guy without the heart. Right. I wanted it to have the fun, the fun other characteristics that the Wizard of Oz does. It's got the guy without the heart, but it's also got the guy that needs courage, right? Yes. And, and we've seen that, the guy that's drinking for courage. Yep. And we've seen the guy that you talk to at the bar and you're like, wow, you're not all there. <laughs> and, and that's like the scarecrow. So yeah. it, was, it's, it was one of those things that it's such a fun story that everybody loves, but you could still relate it to real life so yeah. well that to be able to do that was um, like, and to get, to frame it just right like that, you couldn't not and I know like we said the EP comes out October 28th but what do you have in store after that uh we're in the pre-planning stages of a of kind of a tour we're mm -hmm. hoping to hit some places in Ontario okay. um possibly Ottawa up north and then a lot of places down south um but yeah we're just doing some acoustic shows maybe a few full bands at bars but just getting my name out there I've never been on a tour um, I've done radio tours, but I've never right. done like a full band really? like across I the country or anything like that. So we're just dipping my toes a little bit, getting um, getting that experience down. But that's that's coming in November. Oh well, that's very exciting. We're gonna, all gonna have to look forward to yes. that. Now, if you could collaborate with any artist, it, this person doesn't have to be a country singer, and this person also doesn't have to be alive. Who would it be? Oh, you just added that dead or alive <laughs> thing in there. Um, I, oh, I still think it'd have to be Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Um, I even before he kind of broke into the U.S., I was a huge Ed Sheeran fan. Really? Just for his writing. Yeah. He's such an incredible songwriter. Mm -hmm. Getting to work alongside with somebody like that is just. I think that would completely blow my mind and I would learn so much from that and I'm I'm a huge fan of his work not just because of his stuff but he's also done like some of the newer stuff like Cold Water the right. new Justin Bieber yes. and Major Laser one yep. that's yep. Ed Sheeran that wrote that like Justin Bieber's that Love is, Yourself Ed Sheeran right that is so, totally not the typical Ed Sheeran that we no, expect to but when you listen to the song it's a great song. Yes, and well, the storytelling yeah. aspect, right? So I, I think I'd love to write with him or work with him. Well, thank you so much, Shay. I really appreciate chatting with you. Loved getting to know you. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's oh, been awesome being here. No you. problem. How long are you here in Toronto still? Uh, well, I'm from Cambridge. So I'm in and out of the city almost okay. four times a week. But I actually fly out to Vancouver tomorrow morning. Oh, so yeah. we just made it then. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Can't wait for your EP to come out and for the tour. And uh, so good luck with all that. 
and I'd like to give a big shout out to Strut Entertainment for helping to facilitate this interview. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, like it. If you want more interviews, subscribe. And don't forget, you can follow me on social media.